Well, here's a collection of questions that were asked uh, by teenagers that are submitted uh, to um, the leadership there at Teen Impact at City Gospel Mission as a retreat. And so um, I have not read all these, and uh, I've done a few already, but let me just shuffle them real quick, and uh, let's see if we can find something, and I'll see if I can answer it. And I'm trying to keep it really short and like snippets so it's not lectures. So let's see what this one is. I'll just kind of feel this one out. It says, um, how do you defeat the devil? Oh, wow. Great question. Um, how do you defeat the devil? I'm going to just give a several, um, you know, answers to this. And I think I'll write them out this time. Um, there's, this could be a long lecture, but in, in short. First, you defeat the devil ultimately for your life by giving your life to Jesus. You exchange leadership. Um, who's over you? Leaderships, you know, the leader. So you give your life to Christ. And at that point, you have now defeated the devil ultimately for your soul. But then you can defeat him on a regular basics basis. There are tons of scriptures, particularly in the New Testament, when the devil is actually more revealed he was very active in the old and the new since Genesis chapter 3. However, um, there's real great promises, and I would encourage you to know the Bible and the New Testament particularly about this. Um, the Bible says, Now thanks be unto God who always leads us to triumph, victory in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in First John, that's in Second Corinthians chapter 2, I think 3. Anyway, in First uh, John 4, 4, it says, I think it's 4, 4, 4 it says, Greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. And he's talking about the spirit of Antichrist. Um, the Bible gives you the armor of God in Ephesians chapter 6. There's six pieces starting, I think, in chapter, verse 12. Um, really powerful stuff. But in, 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 in short, you can defeat the devil. And there is a devil. He's not this image of horns and tail and pitchfork. There's an actual evil spirit. And I'm not loony and all. It's not made up. Um, besides the fact that the scripture being very true and that Jesus himself encountered hit, uh, him, um, I've experienced him. I mean, over and over and over since I've received Christ. And I know there's a devil. I mean, that's some of you might think, yeah, right. No, it's very true. When you give your life to Christ, there's an opening of the eyes. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's an enlightenment. And it comes more and more as you get closer to God. And, well, the Bible says resist him. So in, in James chapter 4, I'm not going to particularly put in a specific prior to, prioritized order, but um, you can. You, you, the Bible says you can resist him and he will flee from you. But the verse before, the passage right there and before that says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil. So um, I could put submit first in this case. If you want to defeat the devil, you surrender, you submit, you obey God. And in your obedience, you start defeating him right away because the devil's trying to tempt you and to lure you to, to disobey God and to live wrong, right? So these are some things. Uh, the name of Jesus, okay, we have a victory in, over him in the name of Jesus. Um, that's recorded throughout the Gospels where Jesus, well, he didn't say in the name of Jesus, but he commanded him to do it. And in his name, it says, we shall cast out devils. And throughout the book of Acts, they, you know, cast them out by, by the name of Jesus. And I've experienced the power of the name of Jesus in my own life. When you're speaking the name of Jesus, Satan hates the name of Jesus. And Jesus actually, and I think of it this way, that when you say his name, he comes himself. It's Jesus himself. It's not some magical name of some sort. Jesus um, hears his name and he backs up his own name. The name represents him and all who he is. So the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus um, is another one. These are all of Jesus. I'll just say JC for right now. Um, by the blood of Jesus, we overcome him, it says in Revelation chapter 12. By the word of our testimony is another thing. And I think um, the word of your testimony that you've given your life to Christ um, and also the word that you testify, that te that you testify to the word and what it says about you, the word of testimony, um, you can defeat the devil. And you know, how did Jesus himself do a perfect example? In Matthew 4 and Luke 4, if you read those passages, Jesus said, it is written, it is written, it is written. He was quoting from the book of Deuteronomy. 
and he used the word of God to defeat the devil. And and going back to the Ephesians 6 passage, it says the word of God is like a sword, you know, a weapon against the enemy. So we have resist, uh, resist him and, and he'll flee from you after you've submitted to him, you're obeying him. So you can submit and still be, you know, overcome by him. You need to resist him. How do you do it? Name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, word of, of your testimony. And by the way, that the rest of that passage, uh, defeating of the devil is they love not their lives unto the death. They actually died for Jesus. So martyrdom, giving yourself to Christ actually defeats the devil. It seems like it's the other way around, but you actually defeat the devil by dying for Jesus Christ. Like you can't have me. Ha ha ha. All right. Um, I think that's good. Um, that's, uh, some of the things, ways you could do it, but, um, the overall thing is, I would say, if you notice all about Jesus, you can't defeat the devil without him. I mean, he can, he's, he'll psych you out. He's an evil genius. He's had six, 7,000 years since Adam of uh, having practice. He's an evil genius. Uh, so you need Jesus. So as you come to him, the Lord, and get close to him, abiding in him and, and getting his word in you and praying a lot, you'll defeat the adversary of your soul. If you want to ask some other questions, by the way, I'd love to be able to get you to submit some questions and see if I can answer your questions for you. So in the comments section, kind of submit some questions and see if I can get it. All right, God bless you.